Hi, this is BitLooney and today I share with you a quick project I made on Halloween in only 3 hours. It's a pumpkin that has some calm animated lights, but when it detects movement, flashes up screaming. It was just a really simple decoration idea to prank the trick-or-treaters coming to our house. Let me tell you, the kids loved it. I started with the project in the afternoon of Halloween, checking my shelves for the parts I would need. After soldering some pins for the jumper wires, I checked the speakers I could use and connected the amplifier, the speaker, the motion detector and the LEDs to an ESP32 microcontroller. I didn't want to complicate it, so I tried to simply power everything from the USB. As I thought that could work, I started to put together old code pieces in the Arduino IDE. Unfortunately, the audio amp refused to work at 5 volts. Luckily, I found another one I already used in my lightsaber project. That amplifier comes even with a volume knob. I will show you the parts I finally used later. Next was the motion detection and the LEDs. Two hours have passed already and I still needed some good sample to be played. <coughs> Just kidding! I took the sample from Freesound as the most sounds you heard in the beginning of this video. At this point everything was somewhat working. That was good enough since I needed to carve the pumpkin and we had almost sunset already. <laughs> okay. I carved a pumpkin only once before since this isn't very common here. But I bought that one before since I also like some pumpkin soup at this time of the year. I ended up using the ice cream scoop at the end to get out the eatable parts. The result was awesome. <laughs> That's a scary dude. <laughs> Next was to put all the electronics in. I just put it in somehow that the sensor would detect movement through the mouth. <laughs> that was good enough and the 3 hours were up already. Now let me break down quickly how this thing works. The parts are dirt cheap. You can find all the links in the description. Let's start with the motion detector sensor. So that's a PIR sensor. It's working with infrared. We have 5 volts on the right, then in the center here is the signal and on the left is the ground. That might be different on other boards. This setting is the trigger delay and this setting is the sensitivity. So if the sensor detects someone in the area, it will set the signal high. I connected it to ground, 5 volts and pin 4. Next we have the NeoPixels. So these are these individual addressable uh, LEDs. I simply took the first 10 LEDs from this chain here um, to not take too much power from the USB. And here you can see um, this is the ground, this is the 5 volts and this is the signal. The signal is connected to GPIO 15. The last part is the audio amplifier. I connected it directly to 5 volts since I didn't want to overload any voltage regulation on the microcontroller. It happens that this capacitor here overloads the 5 volts from the USB when I connect it. Uh, this prevents the microcontroller from booting, but I only need to press reset and then it starts as expected. The connections to the amplifier are for the signal, the ground, then the GPIO 25, then we have the separate power for the amplification which is ground on the left and on the right it's 5 volts for us. 
and then we have simply the output for the speaker. The speaker is simply from AliExpress, it's a 4 ohms, 3 watt speaker here. This happens when I power it up. As you can see, it didn't boot correctly, so I simply press reset again. Okay. It just detected something. The constant hum is uh, the LEDs interfering with the audio amplifier. But I left it, it sounds like intentional. Let's put it outside. I placed it next to the door and put the USB cable through the mailbox. I was surprised how good the bloody heck was working. It might be anticlimactic, but I wouldn't show any scared neighbors kids here. You can probably also use the circuit for some Christmas decoration. If you like this quick project, share it with a friend and consider supporting me. A new way would be as a GitHub sponsor. GitHub is even so generous to match each contribution for the first year. There are also some new perks, so check it out. That's all for today and I hope to see you next time. Bye!